Hello everyone, this is Mr. Miles and I'm going to take a look at uh, this LEGO Star Wars 2 PSP file. You know, this I, I actually started doing this in real time and it cost me a lot of uh, time to just figure it out, but it was also caused by my cold, which I still have as you can hear from my voice. So, whoops, let's just see what we can get. I'm, I'm just going to show you the results. Um, in the meanwhile, um, as you can see, sorry, yesterday, um, you can sp actually posted a uh, uh, multi-x file or a mech script to get the file names out. Of. Now that was an easy thing because if you look at the file, you can see that here you see a pointer and here you see a size. Now what does that do? If you just go to the back of the file, you see that there's a lot of file names here, right? You can see that. And that goes on and on. So you go figure and go up and take a look at the rest. You see, oh, what the hell is this? You see at this particular, uh, so 0800, at this particular offset there is something starting. And then probably a lot of padding is going on until the next one. Yes, so here at one, so it's just padded with um, 800 hexadecimal bytes chunks, so to say, which is well, it's it's common for a lot of platforms to do that in archives. Anyway, if you go to this particular address, you when you start here. It's very interesting. So t this is actually the final data of the of the, of the data in the, the resources in the file. But here it starts a table. Now that's interesting because this particular table is also if you just pick the table, and I can explain it to you. So first of it starts with a minus one. I don't know why. Then it starts off with the number of files. Actually resource data in this archive which is 8536 and then it comes with offset compressed size and probably uncompressed size now I've seen in this particular table that there's no value different so th this actually the sort of the compressed size doesn't differ from the uncompressed size I don't know why they didn't choose to compress it, but still they didn't. So this this is a bit pointless. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong, and it's not an uncompressed size, and this means totally different things. But I don't care. I'm just treating this as as such. Now, if you have that particular table, it ends at. Because if you look at that, and this is the number of resources, you know that this is uh, something like this, no, actually, no. And this is the number of bytes in each entry. You can calculate where it ends up, right? So there's 16 bytes in each entry, and this is 8,536 number of resources. So you can depict where you would end up in the file below after you've read all of these entries. That will be here. So then starts the next table which says, hey you know what, I got this number of entries right here. Starting from here. It takes a little figuring out because this is a table. And basically what this means, I have no idea what this means. And this is zero. This is sixteen one. At some point in the, the former real time video I figured out that you know what this is interesting because um if you look at the actual file names you can see that this uh, one starts with a zero, which is nothing. Maybe a root or something. Then it starts with adds. 
So a null terminator's string adds, in which there could be arrow dot adds, blink one dot adds, etc. So this is a folder name. Now coming back to this particular table, you see all kinds like one five f one c two nine. If you go back to the string table that starts off after this table that I said here, see? This is not really, this is also inclusive of the table. But if you just look at the strings, which are here, you see that this is byte number one, and this is byte number five, and byte F. Now, if you look at the table, 1, 5, F, 1, C, 2, 9, so you figure out that these are the starting points, the, the pointers to the relative positions of the strings, null terminator strings, in this string table. Good. So then you can figure out, okay, now what, what about adds? That's a folder, right? Okay. That's starts as one, we know that. And this is 16. A strings number. And this is zero. It starts at five. What is that? What is, what is, I don't care about that. What is starting at five? It's actually a file name. Arrow.add starts at five. Interesting though. Because this is zero. What do I mean this is zero? What, what what's next? Something with this minus one or a very high number. It's very interesting, but what does it mean? And the zero f. So what is that zero f? Zero f is another blink one dot add file. So this is a file, this is a file, this is probably a file, this is some strange number, it goes like 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. This is still minus 14, so it's counting, minus 13, starting with, sorry, starting with minus 1, it seems, but that's not actually true, it actually starts with 0, 0, minus 1, etc. until we find 14, which is higher than 0, is a positive number. So if it, what, what is it, C1? And what is it, CC? Well, C1, sorry, here we go, CC, oh, well, let's just look at CC, because we're there now. It's audio, it's not screen.ads, which is not a C1 right? C1. No, it's audio. Well, that's interesting because that means that this is a folder. So you figure out that, okay, whenever this 16-bit this, um, value is higher than zero, it's a folder, it's not a file. Okay, and good. What about this one then? Well, that's still a bit strange. I haven't completely figured out that because there is a pattern though. Because if you calculate this, it just goes on and on and on. F, then you would expect to one zero, right? But no, it's a folder. And you see zero one. A, that's a bit strange, but you do find the one zero back here with the original ads folder. So we get one zero here, so 16. Alright, then you calculate on this would be 11, one one. You don't find it, it's zero zero. But it does go on, one two, one three. And actually, this is not a folder, it's not a file because this is higher than zero. So this is a folder that has a number of files in it, too, actually. 
but you go on and you see one, one, two, one, three, and you would expect one, four, but you don't see it. It's zero, zero. But lo and behold, this one, four is here with the folder audio. So you see, there's a pattern there. So if you go, if you take this pattern, one five one six, but again, this is a folder. So the next file does have a zero zero. Doesn't calculate. It's not one seven. But the one seven is here with the next folder, which has a two three. But we can expect this two three to be actually here when the next folder arrives. Now that takes a little bit getting used to, but it does mean that you can actually start as extract stuff because you got the got the resource information, so like offsets, size for each file. You've got this particular data of the file names. You also know that this is a table that depicts the file names so we can calculate what we need and we can actually create a script so this is what I did here I created a script for the legal Star Wars what is it? 2? yes 2 PSP save this here, whatever and now if you've got this file so the only thing it does is calculate all the stuff that you need, go to the table, calculate some more stuff and then what it does is it will actually de extract file names and it will not do it perfectly but it will do it better than this particular one that was posted after I already created this one as um, ecanspt says a table with the direct extraction file names is in the file, but I don't think that I can do the extraction with multi -X. Well, um, this is my first try, and I know I can extract at least something that is intelligible. So, yes, you can actually do this, because I've done it here. Now I can redo this for you, just to show it works. I check the script, no errors use that on the dat file it's doing this business and an update now so this script was doing the job and let's just do it like this where is the preview window there now arrow.adds in the s folder blink 1 blink 2 etc right music.txt master edited by david whitaker coded by john hoskinson kinson please do not change interesting a st legal star wars strategy 2 Star Wars Trilogy, audio configuration file master edited by David Whittaker. Very interesting parameters, no doubt for a mother. Well here you find the, that's in the audio folder and then you have sound effects which are crate drop and stuff like that. You can also see the size. You can, you can actually extract these fact files which are audio obviously. And then are a lot of other stuff in there probably models and stuff and text engineer rebel scum see text file talk of shop cost 30,000 what the hell does that mean ranker hey ranker.txt what the hell is that all about huh it's a baddie really <coughs> when a non-guard is the target, the target. 
played when a guard is the target. Ranker. All kinds of stuff here. What about R2D2? Text file is R2D2. Well, fine. So you can actually start extracting a lot of stuff from this Tatooine. You can see that it works. It doesn't matter where you put it. Spanish text. Credits. Here we go. The credits for the game. Spanish text. Lego Star Wars 2. Mission 1 R2D2. Mission 10 Han Solo. What about a Dutch? Here we go. Dutch text. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that seems to work perfectly. Just to show that it actually works, let's just get some. Um, was that Darth Vader somewhere? Let's see. Anakin. Yes, Darth Vader. Oh no, that's not sound. Weapons, creatures. Hmm. What about Luke? Extract this stuff here. Now I came across some. Um, I came across a file that's actually doing the playing of these fact files. It actually occurred to me using this um, using our game research forum that there is a tool to, to do that actually. I also know there's a converter that's coded by Savage, which is on the who is on the multi sorry, the game research forum. Well, let's just start that up. This is MF Audio. This plays fact files. I just extract it, where is it? Here. Look. These ones. Using multi X commander, I will now put them here for convenience. No. So look death. Ah! Alright. Look death. What about Lou Hurt? Okay, what about C-3PO, death? Oh my. Oh my. Or another sound. Ah. Too bad, C-3PO. Oh. Yes, oh. Always been the wuss, C3PO. But you see that it actually works, right? So. Huh. Jumping, dodging. So, at least this particular script does a nice job. I will post it right here when I finish this video, which is in a few seconds. So what we do need to take a look at a bit more is how this directory structure is organized. Because I'm sure that if you look at it, now we've got some u unique, um, apparently, f folders here. But if you look at it, I'm sure that this is audio, which would have a folder called sound effects, in which, in turn, there should be these folders with the individual creatures and their sound effects. So we will see, but at least this one will allow you to extract all kinds of stuff from the uh, PSP dat file. Okay, so I will I will see if I can post a longer video which contains some of the real-time analysis that I did, but uh, for now I think this will do for um, this particular case in the Let's Multi-X world. <laughs>